I'm going to show you guys a little old school trick installing valve springs without a compressor. So what I normally do is I bend up a zip tie so we can go up in the valve spring. Sometimes you have to use your fingers so I don't go through. Boom. Show you guys. It's a cool little trick if you're in a pinch. I do have a valve spring compressor, but I figured I want to show you this trick. I've been doing this since I was 15. Okay. Bend up the end. That way it can turn up into the spring and then through. Put it through. Put some light tension on it. Right? What you do is you make sure your spring, your coils, that's the bottom, this side's the bottom, that's the top, All right? Tighten it as tight as you can get it, All right? Simple trick works every time. So, for you guys that don't have a spring compressor available, you just drop that guy in there like that, put your retainer on, grab a keeper. Keeper right in there, just like that. And another keeper. Boom. Take your zip tie. Always put a finger, cut it. And I gotta take a pair of scissors or a razor blade, whatever, because the inside one there's no room. Cut it. Take a pair of needle nose. Get those guys in there. That one out. That one out. Boom. Installed. I already did four with the zip tie trick. So I wanted to show you guys that I was bored. And the reason why I'm changing the valves is because you can see that there's a hole right there in the corner of the valve where it cooked. Piston sign. But it literally blue there it is right through the valve nuts and this is a stock 3.5 acura rdx rdx jesus christ um 150,000 miles and that happened so now i'm changing all the valves intake and exhaust and putting this baby back together so my customer can get it back but just wanted to show you guys that trick with the zip ties because a lot of people don't know about it, and I showed a lot of old school guys, and they were surprised. They're like, that's clever. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. See you in the next one.